Hello and welcome to chapter 17, the bonus segment. What I want to do is actually code it to draw me a random triangle. So here's what I'm going to do. I need six random numbers. So number one uh, is going to equal math.getRandom. Uh, and I'm going to say I want a number up to 200. But in actual fact, I want six of those. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it and paste it and paste it. So there we go. And so I'm going to be collecting number one, number two, number three, and so forth. Nice quick way uh, to get those variables. There is actually another way to do this using arrays, but let's do that for now. So what I'm now going to do is my triangle, I'm going to put in these variables as my points of the corner of the triangle. Because they'll work, they're numbers. They're numbers between 1 and 200. So, um, all I do is plug them in in place of the numbers. Number 3 will go there. Number 4, of course, will go next. Uh, number 5 will go next, although we've just disappeared behind my little window there. So let's move me across. Um, number 5 and number 6. So you can do this with random numbers. You can do it with numbers in loops. So you can in fact create a loop where the number as you cycle through the loop gets used in your triangle. So you could put them down the screen or across the screen. So um, you don't just have to put raw numbers in. So let's run this and see what happens. Oh, there you go. What did I do wrong? Oh, I left the, um, I left the brackets off the end. So I run that and there is my random triangle. And I run it again. And there's another random triangle. And if I wanted to make my triangles bigger, I would just go through and say, OK, well, let's make it 500. I'll just quickly change those to 5 so that the random numbers will be between 1 and 500. And we'll run that again. There we go. There's a random triangle. There's a random triangle. So one of the things to remember is when you're building these shapes, you can use variables in places of those numbers and it can give you unexpected results and it can give you deliberate results depending on how you're doing it. So I'm not going to set you a your time to code here, but that's a useful thing for you to keep in mind.